While classrooms are empty and chairs are stacked for the summer, over 600 people from across the state came to Charlottesville High School for a lesson on bullying. These are conferences that are happening across the United States and really it's, a, it's because there's such a concern, uh, a heightened awareness around bullying in the United States. Dr. Dorothy S. Walsh came all the way from Illinois to speak at the Charlottesville Conference about a specific approach to bullying prevention. She was one of a handful of speakers to address a diverse audience of educators, all who received a wealth of research, methods, and practices. So I think what I'm kind of taking from this is to be more, for one, in tune, listen better, watch better, but also work better with the school and the administration and the teachers. Spotsylvania Resource Officer Curtis Paget attended the conference with members from his squad. He says it's important to recognize and understand the prevalence of bullying. I can't even tell you how many times I've been standing in a hallway, say eighth grade hallway. There may have been some bullying, form of bullying going on. I didn't even know it. In the Safe Schools survey given to students in 2012, one question asked, where does bullying occur? The number one answer, hallways such as this one. The number two answer, the cafeteria. And the number three answer was classrooms. But Dr. Esplash says bullying can be prevented outside the school zone in which it so often occurs. We should probably slow down a little bit, back up, and remember, how do we create a successful kid? Yeah. You equip them with life, social skills, character, civil behavior. We've known this for decades, but we've lost sight because it's like bully, 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 bully. The conference was sponsored by state organizations such as the Department of Education, Safe Schools Healthy Students, and YouthNext. In Charlottesville, this is Amy Vu reporting.